we start with the idea of what matters. We can so often act out of what is best for ourselves, or fuss about what is best for the community, but achieve neither, not being able to achieve both. What is best for the community would be what is best for every individual, but it is when we are too focused on them separately that we can lose sight of the other. What then should matter if both are what we want to achieve? Human life, including our own, both in terms of staying alive and living well, should be the highest value if we are to truly be able to pursue anything of merit, individually and as a whole. This is the only value, I believe, that every person should hold true to, to an extent, and should be willing to accept. What can I incite from this? If we truly value human life, then we should pursue what is best for each person. What is best for each person cannot be defined or universal, but to achieve this for each, there is a common ground each person needs to start at, common grounds that should be accepted as universal truths. Breaking away from the logic of those who try, sometimes, to better understand the world by defining it, I say that there is no such thing as good or bad people. There are no real reasons for people to deserve anything, good or bad, at all. If we really value human life, every human life, then the actions, thoughts, feelings, beliefs, appearances, habits, place in society, or differences that are used to justify the separating of good and bad people should not take priority. What people do deserve is the right to life and the ability to turn it around. We should not be so quick to judge or define people by any of these things, but only by the fact that they are human, as each of us are. Sometimes it is not an outsider that condemns people for their actions, but a person themselves. It is by this logic that we can believe that, from what we've done, we deserve and don't deserve certain things for ourselves. We can believe that we have brought our lives to such a place on our own and do not deserve to turn it around. We might even believe that we deserve pain for our actions in the form of punishment but through these thoughts, we are not valuing human life. To value human life, it must be accepted that we are not the things we've done wrong or the lives we've made for ourselves. We are not a thing that we've done. To truly pursue the better interest of the individual and the whole, failing must not be a cue for more failing. We are better to a community when we are better for ourselves. Punishment uses someone's actions to justify a wrong thing done unto them, and ultimately makes little to no progress in helping someone to a better self. It is immoral to think that we can play no role in society and believe that we deserve punishment, not betterment. Punishment, then, is a useless thing and should not be enacted. Authority would always take the weight for how society is run. If we are to value all humans, however, authority cannot be so condemned for their actions that we forget it is made up of humans. Humans that have had a lot of runnings with dehumanization. More political figures were assassinated simply because of their standing that we should call a reasonable amount to still hold that people outside of authority don't dehumanize authority. In the same scope, authority can often find itself making dehumanizing s decisions simply because they are the ones that have to for a society. Individually, each person of authority should maintain the same value as any other, such as help, betterment, and a value for their own lives. Part of valuing humans is to allow them a role in society, 
a function or a responsibility in a whole. In the case of authority, stands no different from any other in amount of responsibility, but as a whole they stand simply as an organizer and governor of a group of people. I feel very unsafe without my seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> Their power, then, is nothing but the responsibility they owe to the people they govern, and through their reign should not be squandered as less than human, and they, in return, so, have no, no justification just to rightly squander anyone how, else for their appearance in, just or role in society. What was it? Wait, start over? Well, I finally started looking for a job yesterday and you know even though it didn't exactly work out the way I had planned I, I still think you know it, it was a good effort just because ever since college you know I've just sort of I don't know I feel like for an odd reason maybe that was the wrong thing to do to just you know leap right into this irreplaceable choice but I've just been trying to change things so I do hope that it works out it is because of their role of control of others to which they owe the responsibility of governing well that the problems of the greater whole can end up defining a leader themselves. We are all, however, human after all, and should all be valued higher than our actions, responsibilities, and differences. Regardless of being human, life itself is all of value, and human life should not necessarily take place of the life of anything else. Plants animals, fungi, bacteria, ecosystems, protista, all of them, are perceiving this world, maybe not like we are, but as we are. And thus, in the human terms of needing life and help, need all the same but help. We never condemned animals- So you know, I've been looking into a lot of conspiracy theories now. I know that sounds ridiculous, you know, something I- haven't done really that much at all since I was, you know, before I was 10, but, um, I don't know, just a lot of crazy stuff is just starting to appeal to me again. I don't know why that is, but I'm having a lot of fun with it, so, you know. We never condemned animals by the same standards we do to ourselves. But their survival is not ours to decide. If we are to value life, the value of life is also indicative of, but not defined by the empathy shown toward all forms of life, since it is to kill a living thing as it is to kill a human, neither take higher justifiable priority. Ultimately, our world is our perception. I define the value of human life because in my reality I think that a world where some are not valued is a world where no one is valued. I value those close to me and myself and should have no justification in not valuing everyone since as far as I am able to tell everyone is as human as the people around me and myself. There is no justification condemning people I don't know who are different in beliefs, appearances, or place in society if I truly want to value human life over these things. To value humans is to value their physical life and sustain, but also to want a life worth living for each. Every person deserves to be the best that they can be as themselves, for themselves, and for the greater good. There are so many reasons that human life should be of great value, but ultimately, in the situation this earth sees every day, what else could matter?
So it is unethical and uninformed that anyone should think that this world needs no change.